No rifles. Local schools are trying to figure out what to do with rifles after a mandate from the state to no longer use rifles in high school competitions. In Clarence, the team will continue to compete with air rifles. Still, they're concerned about what will happen to about 40 guns. News 4's Chris Horvath spoke with them today. Chris. Well, Christy, let me tell you what this is not. This is not a story about a school looking to get guns off its campus in the wake of the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. What it is is a story about what Clarence School administrators should do with athletic equipment that its team can't use at matches anymore. If we're not going to use the rifles, there's no reason to have them there. They're just taking up space. But I feel like there's a lot of places that could use them. But here's the thing. Officials at Clarence say they're still exploring all options for the guns. Matt and Alexis Kirk have been shooting since they were five. They're pretty good at it, too. Alexis is a state champion. Matt just got back from the national championships. They're on the Clarence High School rifle team. And with all options on the table, they're worried about one potential outcome. There's a lot of different options that the school has other than destroying them that could put those rifles back into hands of up and coming shooters. To just think that they can take the 22s and melt them down without anyone knowing is really horrifying. And, um, it's a huge waste. Of course, we wanted to come here to the district office and ask the superintendent a few questions about this. Jeffrey Hicks refused to do an on-camera interview, also declined to give us a statement for this story, but he did answer a few of my questions and basically said no final decision has been made on how to proceed. With the option to destroy the gun still on the table, the Kirks are working to convince administrators to go a different route, and their father has their back. Destroying the rifles is really self-destructive. Um, using them in a controlled environment in the club, selling them, using the proceeds of a sale to buy more equipment, that makes a lot more sense. I asked the Section 6 rifle chair what other schools have done with their rifles since the, since the state switched to air rifles. Just a couple of examples for you. He told me Iroquois sent them out to be auctioned. Alden is trying to sell them. The Kirks wouldn't mind that happening in Clarence and using the money to buy new equipment for the team. Chris Horvath, it's News 4 at 530.